Hi there. By now, your general awareness and knowledge of the major scale in different keys should be in good shape. So, in this session, I'd like to look at how the scale links to chords, and more importantly, how we can use this relationship to construct musical ideas. So, to begin with, let's take a look at the chord tones of the C major scale and learn a little bit more about the chord that's associated with this scale. If you remember, the chord tones of a scale are the first, third, fifth, and seventh notes. Now, if we count up through the notes of our C major scale, we can easily work these out. We know that C is the first, or root note, here's the second, the third is an E, this is the fourth, the fifth is the note G, continuing on to the sixth, and here's the seventh note, a B. OK, so from that we've successfully found that the chord tones of a C major scale are the notes C, E, G and B. For this session though, let's just look at the first three chord tones, C, E and G, and explore these a little deeper. We can take any three chord tones of any scale and create something called a triad. As we progress together, we'll learn about different types of triad and how they change depending on the scales we're using. This triad we've just discovered is called a C major triad, and the name should come as no surprise as it's contained within our C major scale. If we play the three notes of a C major triad together at the same time, we create a chord, and this chord's name as you've probably already guessed, is the chord of C major. Hear how we can outline the overall sound of this chord by playing the individual notes that make up the major triad. Again, this should come as no surprise as it's these notes played together that create a major chord. Remember, as bass players, we want to be able to spell out the sound of any chord just by using individual notes. And to really get this concept under our belts, we need to learn about intervals. As we've already learned, the term interval is used to describe the distance between two notes in music. So, firstly, let's look at the interval between the first two notes of the C major triad. OK, here's our root note of C, and the next note in the triad is an E. Now, the interval between these two notes in music is what's called a major third. Just take a look at the layout of these two notes on the fingerboard. And thanks again to the symmetrical tuning of the bass, this shape is always the interval of a major third, no matter where we choose to play it. But, as you're hopefully aware, it's the notes that change as we move this shape around. For example, we now know a C to an E is a major third, and moving the shape, we can also see that here's another major third, this time between the notes of G and B. Again, there's no surprises why it's called a major third, both these notes are used to form a major triad, which, as you now know, when played together create a major chord. And if we link this knowledge back to the scale of C major, the note of E, remember, is also the third note in the sequence. Now, something that I encourage all students to do is learn how to play intervals in different ways. For example, I've just shown you that the interval of a major third can be found up one string and back one fret from any root note anywhere across the entire fingerboard. But we can also find the same interval of a major third four frets up on the same string as our root note like this. I appreciate it's a bit of a stretch, yes, but it's still well worth knowing. As you can hopefully see, the shapes are different, but importantly they use exactly the same notes. And in this case, it's a C and an E.